What's up guys? Welcome back to another one of Lucky Strike Living. We have taken delivery of my brand new 33 Onslow Bay. And a lot of you have been waiting for this moment. We are gonna do a walkthrough. So we're gonna start from the bow and I did a bunch of different things different on this boat than what they typically do. But number one, Rodan trolling motor. I will never have a boat without it. If you're bottom fishing, grouper fishing, you never wanna anchor ever again. This is your tool right here. But just in case, if the weather gets really bad or something goes wrong, my anchor locker up here. If you look inside, anchor, rope, ordinary, nothing crazy. So something special that I did is typically Onslow Bay puts two cleats over here. I put pop-up pop -up chocks. So this allows me to, when I let the anchor line out, I can put it through this chalk and run the rope down the boat and I can cleat it off at that back chalk, that back cleat right there. So I can manipulate the boat forward, backward without having to come all the way to the front, letting rope out, cleaning it off from the front. Also have another one over here. This allows you to, if you cleat it off on this side, the boat will move to the left. If you cleat over here, it'll move the boat over to the right. So if you miss your spot by 15, 20 feet, you can manipulate it that way. If I got it just right, I got a cleat up in front, dead center, and also for docking and things like that. Moving back is a fish box, but I keep it as storage for my bean bags. Don't notice all the dog hair, because Rip, if you don't know, my black lab is back there. He is my first mate on all my trips, so there will be dog hair on the boat. But storage for bean bags. Move back. A little hatch for the same hatch, if that makes sense. Uh, a lot of people use that as fish boxes. You can slide fish in there and go from there. Next is another fish box, but we keep it as dry storage um, for all my customers' needs, some for my needs. Uh, next, what I'm really proud of is the removable forward seating. So a lot of our stuff, we have half days, four hour trips, six hour trips. A lot of our customers like to sit up front, be around each other and be away from my area, the captain's area in the back. But if we're on an extended trip or we don't want them, fold these legs right here and they fall right down. Now for our fishermen, they're out of the way. You can fold that one down the same. You can pull these two pins right here, pop these out, and this whole thing is removable so you don't need them whatsoever. So if you move back a little bit more, obviously a beautiful cushion seat for two people. I love how high it is. Your head doesn't have to hit the console, which it does in a lot of other boats. Then you come back to drink storage, Isolate, or uh, insulated fish box, drink sandwiches, food, whatever that's for my customers. I never go in there for any reason whatsoever. Moving back just a little bit, eyes and glass fully enclosed, but I like the U-shaped zipper. I had them customize this and do it the way I want it. So in the summertime in Florida, when it's really, really hot, I can zip that up, it rolls up, and I get a nice sea breeze when I'm going fast, or if it's raining cold in the wintertime, it's closed because it's wintertime right now. Moving back to the console, if you look inside, one of our sponsors, Abyss battery right there, lithium battery for the trolling motor but if you take a look inside look how clean the wiring is absolutely beautiful whole bunch of stuff that I don't know very much about but pretty nice t-shirts if you ever want to buy a t-shirt and you're on a trip there they are my slickers in case it starts to rain but little storage for me come back here this is an insulated fish box, but I keep it all my safety gear. Everything safety related is in there. Obviously a life jacket for my dog, Rip. That's for him, flares, all the good stuff. We have to be legal. Moving back to the console area, I designed this the way I particularly like it. 12 inch Garmin, chart plotter, sonar, side view imaging, all that good stuff. Uh, this unit right here is for all my GPS numbers. 
So if anybody's ever looking to come on my boat and steal the numbers that are on here, there aren't any. They're all here and I keep it hidden and safe. So stay off my boat, please. Uh, let's see, autopilot right here. This right here, I cus didn't customize it, but I have them put that. That is a timer for my live well. So if I have shrimp, I have the timer go off every five minutes when it'll pump fresh water in there. If I have threads, mullet, bigger baits that need more air or oxygenized water, I'll make the timer go less time between pumps. So it saves your live well a lot of work. It doesn't run 24 seven. I absolutely love it. Um, radio, radio, self-explanatory throttles, trim tabs. This right here, helm pad is for Rip. That's his bed on all of my trips. Let's see what else we got. Uh, wet sound, speakers and fusion radio, two up here two on each side and two up front. It also comes with an amp and when I tell you this boat is really, really loud, it is really, really, really loud. Uh, I love music and I love loud music. This boat gets too loud for me and that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, up here, storage for me, covers for all my screens, sunscreen, couple hooks. Nothing in there but storage. Moving back. Moving back to the rod holder system. I had uh, this customized as well. So I wanted to fit as many rods up top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I lowered this bar and put as many as I could here. Four and two on the side. So I like all of my fishing gear up top. So for example, this is mainly for dip nets. Uh, hooks right now we're, my wife and I are gonna go fishing so I put a couple rods here but if you're holding on and it's rough you don't want to have in my opinion fishing rods right here hooks in the way hooks in your face it's not my favorite so I keep all my rods up there small tackle center weights hooks jigs bags for our fish descending device that's super important for us uh, nothing special. I don't need a ton of tackle. I just need the right stuff. Slide out frigid rigid. Also is a seat. So if the weather gets bad or the wind's blowing and it's cold, the customers can sit right here, face the motors, and the wind is blocked by the console and myself. Super, super nice. This, sometimes a fish box. Sometimes drinks, sometimes sandwiches. All depends on what the day has to provide, but super cool that you can have it there. It is insulated and it just, whoops. Pull the pins. Slides right out of the way. Next, we have a monster fish box, insulated. Uh, grouper trips, snapper trips, pulley ridge trips, tortugas trips, keys trips, we're gonna start doing it all. When you have all your fish in here, I do have a macerator pump hooked up to that drain. So when you have your ice water, fish slime, all that stuff, you do, I don't want it going in the bilge. That's what a lot of boat manufacturers do. But I have a macerator pump so I can pump it directly from there overboard. So it doesn't get in the bilge, your bilge doesn't stink, any of that good stuff. In here, Check valve for your live well, nothing too crazy. This is your bilge access, macerator pumps, live well pumps. Let's see, macerator drain switches. Everybody knows what's in here. Uh, it's fairly simple, self-explanatory. What's super cool is look at the room. So I can get in here myself and work on anything. That is my freshwater tank right there. But I personally have already been in there and there is plenty of room to work on it. You don't have to, you don't have to be in weird positions to get into your bilge and work on stuff. This is another fish box, but I keep it for cast net storage. Tortuga strips, that can easily be a fish box. Same thing mirrored as that one over there. Macerator pump goes overboard and all the good stuff. 
Uh, let's see, rod holders in the back. I did three. You can design these any way you like. Um, the reason why I did what I did, we do do some trolling. So I've got one here at zero degrees heading out the back. Two right here. If you ever gone on a trip with me, you have to set your rod in the rod holder, set the weight in the rod holder next to it. So that just makes it super simple, easy to understand. One person here. If I ever need to work on a fishing rod, tie it up, change the weights, change the lures, that one's for me. Two setups right here. Put your rod in the rod holder, put your weight in the rod holder right there for a person. Another person right there. Everything is mirrored on the other side, so it's exactly the same. absolutely monster live well absolutely monstrous blue so your baits are comfortable rounded no edges so your baits will never get stuck uh, and finally suzuki 350s fuel efficiency is awesome i'm getting 1.6 1 1.7 at 35 1.6 1 1.58 at 40 um, we're still prop testing these things, so we're hoping to see 60, 61, 62 miles an hour, which is absolutely plenty fast for me. I'm not worried about doing 70. 70 is too fast on the water. Um, other than that, you guys have seen the wrap of the boat, and a huge shout out to Realtree. Um, amazing company. They send us all of our gear. Their motto, Realtree, is family, friends, and the outdoors. Couldn't agree with them more. Christian-based company, so we suit them perfectly they suit us perfectly we couldn't be happier to partner with them also uflex steering so the steering for the steering wheel they were a huge help in building this boat they are also a sponsor and of course rodan marine which i showed you in the very very beginning phenomenal oh, really? company when i tell you their customer service is top notch it is absolutely top notch uh, if you have a problem with your rodan which doesn't happen all that often you bring it to them they will fix it that day I was doubtful when they told me that, and it happens every single time that something does happen. Last but not least, a huge, huge shout out to Onslow Bay. Onslow Bay with Brad, who's the owner, and Brianna, his wife, are phenomenal. Their customer service is top notch, and when you call, they will answer the phone, text, email, it is awesome. My personal favorite about them, it is direct to the owner of the company, you can talk to them, specs, sheets, prices, anything your heart's desire, you can custom build this any way you like. One of the big things that drew me towards them is it is a big boat. It is 3210 long and 910, maybe 911 wide, don't quote me exactly, but they foam fill their boats. But when I say that, a lot of boat manufacturers, they will insulate their fish boxes like I showed you, but every cavity from the hull to your fish boxes every inch of the boat is foam filled glassed over and then resined on top so there's no replacing your gas tanks there's no water intrusion anywhere first class they go above and beyond everybody else that i'm aware of i don't know anybody else that does it but uh, this is my third third this is my first 33 and uh, it is an absolute dream come true i could not wish for a better boat everything is custom the way i built it and if you ever want to build yours the way you want it call brad call brianna they will answer the phone and get you in a 27 33 37 and 41 if you're ever interested in a boat uh, fishing sightseeing just being on the water they are top notch you need to at least consider them and of course if you ever go to them and you heard about onzo bay through me i'd appreciate if you told them i sent you but uh, we are getting ready to go in full swing on our charters. If you ever want to book a trip, all my information will be in the description below. If you, below, if you want some apparel from us, custom fishing rods, we do it all. But uh, that's my boat, and my wife and I are going to go fishing. So we are going to see you guys later.